Hello everybody and welcome to a Dazzled or Disappointed that I am very excited to bring you because it is on a dazzling sparkly product. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. It is the Starlit Glitter Eyeshadow Palette by Makeup Forever. I picked this up last week um, and I'm very excited to bring you this review. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes today so without further ado, without making this intro super long, let's jump right into this review. Okay guys, so first I'm going to take you through the description on the Sephora website. It does retail, just so you know, for $45. It comes with six pans of product at .038 ounces each, which is a total of 1.1 grams. And the description on the Sephora website says, a limited edition eyeshadow palette with a breakthrough glitter for formula featuring six sparkling Prismatic shades ranging from radiant berries to brilliant bronzes. I will step back for a second and tell you they're starlit powders, they're starlit little um, liquids. That's what prompted this palette because their starlit powders are very, very popular. If you know, um, if you've seen Jaclyn Hill, I've used it a couple of times. The starlit um, powder, and I think it's number 13, is an incredibly beautiful highlight, intense highlight. <laughs> Probably their most popular one, I assume. Um, it says what it does, make your eyes pop with the next generation of glitter. As the newest innovation in the iconic starlit family, uh, these glitters catch the light for an intense sparkling effect unlike any other. It's time to bid adieu to the days of messy application. Those of you who hate messy glitter, there you go. <laughs> these smooth, creamy, ultra glitter shadows apply easily and are fall out free. That is a very high claim. I'll let you know if that happened or not. The unique formula allows you to apply the glitter directly with your fingers or a brush. With intense color payoff, these duochrome shades may be worn alone for singular impact or layered in endless ways to create multiple looks with just one palette. Now, that is also a lofty claim because quite frankly, I don't ever create one look with just a glitter eyeshadow palette. I do have to have some matte or even satin shades for my crease, which is what I did today. So I'll zoom you in here in a bit. But here is what the palette looks like. This thing is so pretty. Look at this like holographic type glitter effect. And then it's got it on the back as well. So, so pretty. Um, when I opened it up when it first came in, I was a little breathless. <laughs> it just took my breath away. I was very, um, ugh, the sparkle. You know me and sparkle. I just, it can leave me speechless sometimes. That's what that looks like. Six pans of product, obviously quite large pans of product. So first let me swatch for you. I'm going to forewarn you. I don't feel like it swatches super amazing, um, but I am going to do the best that I can. So be right back with some swatches. All right, guys, the first four, here we go. Reflection, Prism, Spark, and Flame. And let me swipe these on my hand for you real quick. Like I said, I don't know that the swatches are the best way to see, but actually they look pretty darn good right there. So um, this is a kind of like a MAC blue brown pigment with ultra sparkle with ultra shiny finish. Um, I wore this one yesterday. I am wearing this cream one right here in my inner corner. I wore this one in my inner corner yesterday. It's the um, it's the palette that I used for our Valentine's Day dinner. We did Valentine's Day dinner early to avoid the crowds on Wednesday. Today's actually Sunday. Um, so <laughs> I did want to put this one to use. To me, the ultimate use of something dazzling like this, something sparkly, something intense, is like a night out or something, you know, a formal event, something along those lines. So let me give you the last two swatches. And there we go. You've got Flicker and Beam. Beam is one of the shades I am wearing on my lid today along with that blue-brown pigment type shade, uh, which was called Prism. But let me swatch these for you, and there you go. So not a whole lot of swatching, because again, there are only six, and so that is what they look like right there. And real quick, I am going to zoom you in so that you can see what I'm wearing. Again, I am wearing this purple shade beam on the outer and inner portion of the lid. I am wearing prism right here on the center part of the lid, and I am wearing spark on the inner corner. 
Um, I will tell you, I applied glitter glue. I think, you know, glitter glue for me is, I'm a tried and true glitter, glitter glue person. So here we go. In the crease, I've actually got the Huda Electric Obsessions palette because it has a hot pink and kind of a corally orange shade. And I want, I'm trying to really incorporate the pinks right now because of Valentine's Day and <laughs> Valentine's week coming up. And so that's what I've got in the crease and on my lower lash line. As far as the lid, you can see that I've got purple on both sides and then down the middle, I've got, um, it's prism in the middle and then it's called beam on the outer. So purple to me is ideal with pink, perfect Valentine's Day. And then there in the middle is that different shade of, um, which is called prism. So then on the inner corner right here, I've got that champagne type shade called spark right there. I did not apply it wet yesterday. I did apply these wet also gave great payoff, but today I just applied all of them dry and there's no glitter glue here. I just applied that on pretty much bare skin. So that's what that looks like right there. Um, you can see the intensity, you can see the sparkle. And so the first thing I wanna tell you is that in using it yesterday, I did not use a glitter glue. I wanted to try it out with just concealer as my primer and I applied them wet. They went on very, very intense, very beautifully. Um, but after just a bit, they kind of started to, the sparkle stayed, but they started to kind of not fade, but de-intensify, if, that if that's even a word. Um, today, what I did was I applied them dry, but I applied them over top of Too Faced Glitter Glue. And I will tell you, my preference is using a tacky base like the glitter glue. They went on so intensely. They went on as intense as when I have applied them wet, um, but I applied them dry. And the tackiness, it's just like it just captures the intensity, it captures the sparkle, and it keeps it there. So. I absolutely recommend using these with a tacky base such as a glitter glue. So that being said, that's that. I tend to like applying these more with a brush than I do my finger, which is crazy because there's somewhere I'm like, no, I, I like this with, you know, applying it with a finger better. No, I really do like applying these better. I think they, on me, they come out a little better with a brush. Um, the other thing I wanna point out, so that lofty claim in the description about zero fallout, that's really, really lofty because pretty much any glitter shadow is going to have fallout until now. I have not had any fallout with these, nothing on my face. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm a little surprised by that because that's never happened before. Once I'm done applying, I brush my brush off <laughs> on like a paper towel or something just to get the excess off. No fallout whatsoever. I haven't had any fallout throughout the day as I've worn these. I haven't had any fallout as I'm applying these. You know, kind of, even the Stila Glitter and Glow, if you kind of touch your eye a little bit, you'll get a little bit of fallout. I don't tend to touch my eye, so I don't get that fallout, but I know a lot of people do. Um, but it can, I have accidentally, there was one time where I was like, uh, and you know, fallout. Okay, with these, I get no fallout. And what blows my mind is that there's no fallout when you apply it. For a powder glitter formula, that is crazy to me. Um, as far as the formulation, this is crazy amazing formulation. They're very, very, they're not gritty. They're not buttery either. It's like they're very smooth. Uh, I, I don't know. It's almost like the formula is very thin, but very smooth. Um, and this is one of those formulas where the glitter or the shimmer, whatever it is, it's gotta be glitter, is like built into the formula of the shade because it, there again, there's no fallout, it doesn't sit on top, it's just all mixed into the formula. This is a really, really great formula. I do like it, I hope they continue to come out with more things like this. This is an absolute dazzled for me. I love this and I think I love this more than the Fenty, you know I love the Fenty um, holiday palette. I know a lot of y'all didn't because of that chunky glitter and it can fall down. If you hated that one, but I think you'll love this one. If you like glitter but don't like dealing with the mess, try this one out. I am dazzled by this. This was an absolute win for me. Um, I kind of was expected to be disappointed. Sometimes I set my expectations to where like, okay, it can't top this or it can't top that. You know what it reminds me a lot of for those of you who own the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dust Palette, you know those two shades in there that are like iridescent that have that built in glitter. That's what these formulas or this formula, that's what it reminds me of. 
I couldn't be happier with it. I love it. I absolutely think it is worth the $45, even though there are only six shades. It comes out to what? Like maybe right over $7 per shade. Um, it is limited edition, so if you're looking at picking it up, I would probably pick it up sooner rather than later. I don't know how long it'll last. It's still on t in stock on the Sephora website, uh, but absolutely love it. It was a dazzled for me for sure. All right, guys, before I let you go, you know I have to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Jeremiah 17, 10, and it says, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deeds deserve. Just remember, guys, God sees the heart, so we may have good motives on the outside, but the heart has to be in sync with that good motive. You can't, you know, have like a hateful heart and just be doing it on the outside. God always sees the heart, um, but I just know that each and every one of you have a beautiful heart. Just keep it that way. Um, I hope you've had a wonderful Valentine's Day week. Thank you so much for watching this Dazzled or Disappointed, guys. I will see you very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.